Freeman are going to have as we jump into game one with J-Mac and Myth. Thank you so much, Gore and Trelly. The Sino goes forward. Gets a double ult, but waits out the ult from Hurry Win before Cyclone pulls the trigger. Now the River's Rebuke. Hurry's got nowhere to go. He pops the Phantom Shell to walk through the wall, but when there are four ferrymen surrounding them, looking for a way to, to land that ultimate against Aurora, does manage to clip him right on the edge of the inner circle and takes him out. So first kill for the Highland Ravens off of a very odd positioning of a roar. It's tanky, but he's not tanking the magic, not just yet. Haddock's in first. That's a massive ultimate. But there's nobody around him to follow up from it. The ultimate Yikes. from a roar cuts the entire Gold Fury pit off. But the six frame have not been able to turn it into anything just yet. Pick on a hurry. It'll be a great start. Picked up, jumped against the wall, uses the ultimate to try and get away, but he's stunned out by a roar. Picked up by Baskin again, and a boulder hand delivered to him. It's a kill for Baskin, three for the team, three, and relics burn from a couple different ones. A roar still in the middle with the rivers. They'll collide down in. Zapman trying to take down Cyclone Spin, but needs the help Woo! from Venenu. I'm a monster. Takes down one. And the damage after brings a double for Venenu, but he's got to use Aegis to try and get away, but Paul is on top of it and picks up a killing spree for himself. Now Haddix pushed back by Baskin, shoved against the wall and waiting for the follow-up from Paul, but Baskin's only picked up one. It's about a River's Rebuke to lock in just hurry win. Is there a damage collapse and after? He's already used the ultimate. A boulder is thrown towards Venenu instead, taunt back from Sino. Hurry win has lived for far too long, and Sino will make sure that he goes down one pick from Scream will put Sino down. He ended up beats, but no! Yikes. Baskin shows up! The double push! The jumps away! Zapman can't get the job done! Paul shuts him down! It's a rampage for the mid laner. Baskin to the left. First runic bomb from Baskin and a Fear No Evil by Scream. Put some threat towards Sino. He's gonna use the turtle form to get out, but he can't! Haddock's able to chase him out, but I'm a monster. Used by Venenu. Doesn't land on a target this time. The Sticks Ferryman. Sino goes in, gets the Fear No Evil away from Scream. He doesn't have any relics to keep his back up. A monster doesn't take him down. So it requires Haddix to expend his body, but it may have now cost Haddix his life. Damage in from Cyclone and Paul are just Woo! enough. But look at the low health bars on the Ferryman. They're forced out of this fight. Baskin's pretty far forward. Sicka oh, might be a no, 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 no. It's the L. Ben has been handed the L next to the Fire Giant. Paul, plus one from the RNG Gods, takes him down. Ben We'll find Hurrywind out of position. Cyclone used the ult. It stuns out too, but Hurrywind's got no legs left to stand on. Knocked away by Cyclone Spin, the Sticks Ferryman, with a 5v4 advantage. Haddix doesn't have any resources left except ultimate. Scream can have to do a lot of work. Haddix picked up, pushed back. Scream to the back. Doesn't even get the beads off of Cyclone until the end of it all. And Cyclone's Titan. down. It's a double from Haddix, but it was all a distraction. So the Ferryman can walk in, take the Titan in game one. That was a very slow-paced early. Both teams confident in their ability. Game, a roar off the horse in the grave. Rotation from Scream says we'll ignore Paul and instead try and shut down the duo of the Sticks Ferryman. Ultimates from everybody. Not able to get too much from them. Cyclone plucked back by Hurry Win. Cyclone still holding on to B. Oh, He's used the jolt and gets caught out. Let's go to the ultimate. And to be to return by Zapman just to continue dropping out the damn. But Roar walks into three. Sanctified field. Doesn't matter. He's down. Scream to the sky. Cyclone, though, does have beads. And that's the call for Scream to head back out. And they'll net their one kill. I can't. Scream on rotation in. He's got Ven for backup. Oh, no. Sino left isolated. Aurora force onto the horse defensively while the rest of his team just clears out whatever jungle camps they can. Scream is up in the sky. Dunks on top of Aurora. Walls him off. And that's good for the double kill for the jungle of the Ravens and right to the Gold Fury. This is the answer that needs to be taken against the Sticks Fair. If they want to play slow, get those kills, try and go for a Fury, but Cyclone steps up, loses beads to hurry win now. But on the opposite end, it's Sino going down. A roar what got does him? step so a little too far forward, or maybe Zapman just had the distance on his one. Maybe. And it's Cyclone spin now. Low mana hanging out. And Scream, with a dunk target, goes towards Aurora, but he misses the stun, gets the wall to block Good off wall. Aurora, and that's going to be the death of the support on the Ferryman, I would say. Needs a bit more from Zap to guarantee that one. Close. Fury over to the Ferryman, but the fight after, and so hot for the time being, Baskin is low. The silence in return, but Baskin goes to the ult to immune the pluck, but he'll still lose his life. Paul distracting Casino shows back up. Aegis from Venenu, Cyclone untouched on the right side until just now, and a collapse back in. 
because Aurora has rejoined the party, and it's Paul with the first kill for the Ferryman. Van overextends, and now it's the rest of the hot, and Raven's having to pay. Aurora on chase, connects with two, but only finds stun on one. Zatman on retreat, but it's Paul able to knock him down with the help of the support, and now it's the six Ferryman starting to run away with the entire engagement. An overstay from the Highland Ravens, an overextension from the mid laner, a gold fury. Cycle has been so unlucky, just never puts his eyes in the right spot, never spots it. But it's the Sticks Ferryman once more. We're gonna get the second win in the team fight, J Max. Satman left alone, and here's the thing he's worth more. He's just worth more. Six and two now. I'm landing on them on the rat, I'm on the rat. Can we turn this? Big ult, big ult, big ult. They use everything, that's Hades ult. They're so low. They're just tanking my shit. They're all full. They're all full. They're gonna go on me, guys. Rat's here. Rat's here, low. Hades blank. Oh, he dashed it. I guess I was chasing you, though. Kill the rat. Sino does go down at the tail into the fight, but Hainu's still alive through all the but with four people surrounding the Styx Ferryman. Can we go? Can we go? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm horse, dash, horse, dash, horse dash, horse dash, horse dash, horse dash. Oh, oh, you, see, you see Thor behind? You see Thor behind? Oh, low, 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 low. We can go back to fire, yeah. I'm doing power real fast. Fire's not flashing. Olo ulted. Fire's not flashing. Olo ulted. Olo ulted. But maybe not for long. Basket's Baskin. got him. He's got two locked in, and Sino's got Venenu's number in the back line. That's two. For the six Fairman, about to make it three. Zatman used the beads, used the ages, but none of it is enough. It's a double kill for Sino. And it's now up to Scream and Hurry Win to defend. There's not a snowball's chance in hell they get to do that. 2 0 up for the Ferryman. Speaking of avoid, the Ravens want to avoid elimination for today. Still not enough. Roar lives with 40%. Scream lives with nothing. Sino on a blue buff invade while they don't necessarily get the buff. Very contested buff on this right side. Paul pushing in, 3v3 to the right hand side, Sino low, Sino still alive, but only for an extra moment. It's the ultimate from Aurora that keeps him alive a little bit longer than he had hoped for. The Styx Ferryman, they don't get their invade, they don't get their kills. Yeah, Aurora a little bit late on that ultimate, also leaves him in no man's land, channels it and lands exactly where he started. And where he started had two enemies right at his feet, so hurry when it's that man. Dashed on by Venenu, and now blinked by Scream. Good damage coming from the Surter. Sino just trying to get as much farm as he can before he goes down, but Scream gets credit for the kill. Paul walled away from his own tower and collapsed on by five. The problem the Ravens had in the previous two was how do we kill Paul? Well, it's simple. Death Ball with a full squad of five. And get him off Baba Yaga, right? I think that's a large part of it too. Dash forward from a roar. Maybe not the most advised play there. Right around the fire giant. Scream ends up pulling that one with his third ability and is now brought into combat. Aurora's down, but so is Scream. Paul gets to get a kill of his own. Up down from Venenu. Hurry win. He pulls back only Sino because it's Baskin going for the ultimate of his own. Paul just needs a little bit more damage. Venenu able to grab another before he goes down and Baskin can keep up the chase. Hurry win is not going to be able to run too far. Fighting back against Venenu, taunt from Aurora. Hurry wins, gonna pull Paul back. Scream is there, but Paul's still alive. The from Aurora is keeping him alive for a moment, but Zatman dumped in along with Scream for two kills. And now Sign has shown up. A double knockup is good for CC, but not good for the damage. It's the volcanic lightning by the rest of the Ravens. Scream gonna march forward. Another whoop from Zatman catches Aurora a second time. Sun is there. And Hurry win will get the chain, and Zatman gets the in hands. It's another rampage for the carry of the Ravens. Meanwhile, Baskin's getting something done on the other side. Doesn't grab anybody back with his own. It's a dive in by Sino, but he misses the initial hit. And, and Haddix crashes in. Sino's going to try and take this trade, and he nearly does. But Satman lives in a roar, and Sino both fall. It's a he double for move. Ben and one for Haddix. Three gone off the ferryman. Only the carries left alive. Great Aegis timing from Zatman there. Completely turns around. I understand the decision making from Sino. And can they hold their defense? Haddix starts off with a hammer. Aurora goes in with a taunt and the fight breaks out as the six ferrymen try and defend through. It's two to the left hand side though. Haddix getting melted back by Baskin and Sino. Even with Ben joining in. And Sino to defend against Venenu and Scream. Not much of a defense though. It's a Tunkin from Haddix. And Sino's instantly removed from the fight. Now Baskin's got to back away, finds a double stun. But let's take a listen to the Ravens as they try and continue their push. Scream in the back line, Chain connects as well, and Scream's thirst is enough, but Paul's got plenty to return right back. Does take down Hurry Win in trade. Baskin dives in against three, and he takes down Satman through all of that now. 
It's only Paul left alive, but look at the health bars. Haddix, he's ticking away. Paul's got the double kill, and he might just have another. Scream is on the run. He's got a couple minions helping out with some vision, but Paul is going to keep him busy to 30%. The Sticks Ferryman trying to fight back against her. It's a dive in by Haddix. Doesn't get what he's looking for. Sino bursts away. The Ferryman get the fire, but they lose Sino. Will they lose any more beyond there? Aurora is low. Haddix. Tries to cut off the path, removes one He's way. got it. But Haddix is too far up. Scream goes in the sky. They're going to double dunk right in. They spot out with a roar. Haddix goes in, gets the spin. Sino has got the knock up, but the Highland Ravens, do they it's have low. the damage? It's not enough. Just Scream! Zap. They got to stop Zap, Whoa. but they don't. The Highland Raven takes a full concentrated effort to do it, but it takes them 30. He's going to surprise us and take us to game five. Let's find out with J-Mac and Myth. Well, the Ferryman has Scream trying to farm in lane. Bask goes with an ultimate. Gets the Meteor out, but Scream's going in. Hurry wins a bit further behind. A taunt in is good, but now it's Paul on the scene. First blood goes to Scream, but it's returned by Paul and up Here into the Haddix. sky to make sure that Zapman goes down. There's two nearby. A taunt is not enough. Paul will remove Zapman. That's two for the Ferryman's mid laner. Playing real far up in that lane. Thought maybe Cycle and Spin would be an easier target than he was. Valkyrie's discretion just to get a little bit of extra damage, but they need more from Cyclone Spin, and they got plenty of it. Three for the Styx Ferryman. Bit of miscommunication on the, the timing of CCs, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem to matter, though, does it, when the damage out puts behind it, and so hurry win. From the mid laner means that Paul is as good as dead under the tower, but where is the turnaround after? To sash by Sino, but Scream has already taken down two on his own. And a third one in the back line makes a three-for-one trade for the Island Ravens. Sino holds on to ult, Wait, but Baskin? Baskin rotating around the top side of the fight. Haddix is going to be late to the party. Baskin's already there. Ult swipes onto two different people, stuns out Scream, and Sino's there with the extra follow-up. The six Ferrymen have gotten their two-for-one trade, only losing Cyclone. Is ready for the damage on the Cyclone spin. It's not quite enough. The dot isn't there, but neither is the lifesteal, and neither is Paul, the Highland Ravens have now picked off four and gotten fire on all five. Really surprised to see that. I mean... Dash is in, can't get the taunt, he's plucked back, he's Tower's hit by the gone. tail whip, and hurry win might just be gone as well. Baskin takes him away and Scream goes up to the sky. Now full five force from the Ferryman. Paul slows them down with his own ultimate, but he'll head over towards Scream instead. It's just Sino chasing up mid. We'll go back to rejoin his team on the chase for Scream. Venenu's ult just there for damage, but Scream is as good as gone, a whoop. Only delays his health bar for a little while longer. It's two for the ferryman. Sages, he's used his beats. He's got his ultimate as the last resort. His scream dunks on a three and hurry taunted four. But the follow up wasn't there. Instead, it's Sino taking scream to the sky. Cyclone spin is gone, but it took the entire effort of the Ravens to do so. Three man ultimate from Surter and a four man taunt from Hurry when those are frontline diff odds there. And look how synced up those death timers are 40 seconds on Sino, 30 on Cyclone. The Highland Ravens. They want to knock down the bird. Five versus three. Use the beads, but it's too late for Zapman. He's down to Baskin. Haddock's in the middle of four, and he's gone to Sino. The Sticks Ferryman walk up to the fire, and they bank on the Ravens to walk up, and they win. Zapman just... If they can find a pick on a Cyclone spin, would be big, but he got the ultimate to get to the sky. Scream thrown back by Aurora. He's got no backup until he gets in with the hurry win, and that's enough oh, damage no. to break that one up. But look at the top side of the fight. It's Baskin and Paul versus three. Baskin's got a retreat, and I'm not sure that the Ravens even know that Paul is standing near Pop. Highland Ravens, though, they're trying to go to Scream. Yikes. Let's see if we can join in with the Ravens on the team fight in mid. Fray on my Dash taunt. Turn dash on me, turn dash on me, and left. You're right, turn that and move. Fray one. That's Fray ult. I need help here. Turn under, turn under, no dash, no dash. Taunt three, taunt three. I don't have beats. Taunt two. Taunt one. You just have to live. I don't have anything. Taunting. Oh, he dashed. That's it. I'm dead. I'm dead. fire. That's it. Yeah, that's the end. Highland Ravens fall apart in the team fight. Three down, still five alive for the Ferryman. It's just Zapman, and I was going to say Haddix, but now it's just Zapman. He's got to fight. Team, you're such a I panic ender. Look, I think it's Zapman who's got to worry right now because all five of the Ferrymen alive and healthy. Can Zapman put on the miracle defense? Uh -uh. 42 in? No, Paul's going to keep him zoned away. Dash by Baskin. Guarantees Zapman is out of this fight. The six Ferrymen will win out in four. Ask me now. There's nothing else I can